All right, everyone, and welcome back. We have a fun one for you today. This one's interesting because it's a couple different teeth. There's some trauma. You can see she's got those fillings in there, and it's really close to the nerve. Both teeth are dead. Um, she's actually sent in for uh, the canine, which is, doesn't have anything wrong with it whatsoever. So this is kind of how it presents. She will need to get new restorations done on here. Just want to kind of go through that process. So as far as your access, really straightforward, just with that workhorse 850, kind of drop right on in. Younger patient here, and so the access is going to take, you know, very, very limited time. This isn't sped up. <laughs> These are <laughs> some of my favorite ones to access. You can see as soon as we drop in, we get that nastiness coming in there. And so on cases like this, where we have a lot of drainage, I like to use the ASI microsuction that's attached to my cart to try to get as much of that out as possible. It's what I call the uh, poor man's gentle wave. <laughs> and it just pulls out a lot of that nastiness. Go ahead and get your working length like you have before. After that, we're gonna go down. Now this, this case, I did actually go straight to an F1. Uh, normally it's a little bit large for what my size would be. But if you look at that pre-op image again, it's such a large, just kind of size to begin with that I'm not too concerned about it. We're gonna go ahead and rinse here. I did a lot more rinsing than I would normally I actually cut out. I, I rinsed with an entire thing of Triton as well as a couple things of uh, bleach just to get this thing trying to get it dry. And one of the tricks you can do when you have a case like this that's, you know, semi, are you gonna be able to get it dry or not? Is to go actually in with that activator to try to clean out as much as possible. And I use this as a test. That activator kind of makes it so if there is still drainage, it'll actually kind kind of well, activate the drainage as well and you'll start to see it coming through the tooth. So let's see if we're able to get this dry going in here with the microsuction again. And it's looking pretty good. Sometimes you'll actually have a bunch of stuff come out there, but that does not look good. That If you see that dark color on there, it's not gonna be good. That right there is usually a sign of Prevotella nigrescens, which is really common in retreats. Um, you definitely wanna use calcium hydroxide if you see that. And that's what I just called grody, pus, nasty, it, Hands. I guess that's going to be a fungus. Um, and that's the test here. As you can see how that paper point collapses when you put it on there. This is a good test to see if you are completely dry. If you are completely dry, you should be able to push against the rubber dam and the paper point is not going to collapse anymore. So at this point, I've decided it's nasty enough. Let's go ahead and use our calcium hydroxide. So I just use the regular stuff from Ultradent with those super small tiny tu uh, tips go inside there. This case was also very long. You can see there's still drainage coming out of that lateral there with the calcium hydroxide. And one thing I like to do here is go back in and reactivate the calcium hydroxide as well. The tips on the Ultradent are only 21 millimeters long, and I believe this case was a little bit longer than that. And so this helps get the it, it kind of activates it if you remember back in dental school when you use the little vibrator when you were pouring up models. Similar concept where it's going to take something that's kind of in a paste form and liquefy it. And then I'm going straight in with Cavit for these. Um, one thing you can do to make your Cavit harden up a little bit faster actually is to use uh, the cotton pellet soaked in isopropyl alcohol. So that's what we look like. Got some calcium hydroxide at the end of the tooth. Very happy with that. She comes back a month later and we're going to re access. So drilling back through that Cavit. Once again, I hate IRM. I am very much a big fan of Cavit. <laughs> It's a much better product here. Um, go back, recapitulate with that 20K file. Uh, this case was very wide open, so I'm not too concerned about it. And then we're going to do our rinsing process. I sped this up as well because no one really wants to see me just, you know, rinse out teeth all day long. But pretty much you're going to use uh, bleach, then go with the activator, and then come right back in with EDTA. The reason I like to do this combination is it not only prepares the teeth really nicely, but it also gets all that calcium hydroxide out of there. You don't really want to leave any of that behind. And then our final rinse is always going to be with isopropyl alcohol. The reason why is it dries just beautifully. You don't have to use as many paper points. So going back in with that micro suction like we did before. And at this point, you can see those paper points are nice and dry. What I'm going to do here is actually confirm the length. Um, you can actually use a either bleeding point or in this case, it was just slightly wet out the apex. And that will actually help you confirm the length in this case. You saw that there, or you will see that it's kind of exits out to the side. And I am not doing squirt fill on this case. <laughs> so I like to use my 08 tapered gutta percha. And then I have a taper plate that I cut them to. And so this one, I forgot the actual size I cut it to. I think it was kind of a larger size to begin with. And what I'm doing here is making sure that we're to the length. You always want to go and recheck it after because oftentimes it's going to push out just a little bit longer each time you do it. There's my check film. And yes, that is definitely short on number nine, but I'm okay with that. With how large this case is going to be, it's going to push down and fill up nicely. Another thing I'm going to do here is use a slightly larger tip for the alpha. So this is a 5504 tip instead of my normal 4504. 
Reason why is because of that 08 cone to begin with, it's just gonna be a little bit bigger. I found you can use the 3570 condenser um, like you would normally. I do have the rest of the kit, and this is about as large as I would feel comfortable using the 35 on. Um, probably would move up to either a 40 or 45 if it was a little bit larger than this, just because that skinny side is just a little too skinny. Um, in this case, I'm not actually gonna be doing the restorative, so go ahead and backfill the case up here with the uh, beta like we would normally. Um, smooth that all off. The other thing I'm not going to do is use the endo activator here. There's already an empty space at the apex. So the apex is already quite large. You don't need to send that chainsaw flying down there and send a bunch of junk out the apex of the tooth. That's not going to be a good day for anybody. It's not going to look nice. Will it affect the long-term prognosis? Probably not at all, but not something you really want to send back with your name on it. So go ahead and use the back end of the um, condenser here to create nice flat looking spots. And as you can see, there we are. That's what the Gutta Percha looks like. And we'll get that final film here looking really beautiful. So I thought this would be kind of a fun quick case to show you what's going on here. As always, like and subscribe. And Okay, so I actually messed up and I was supposed to do the restorative here. So we're going to go back and cut through my uh, cabinet. Um, <laughs> I have to drill back through that. Thankfully, it's super soft. You can just kind of pop that in there. It doesn't take too much to clean it out. And we're going to go through that process of um, now removing all the gutta percha that I just filled in because I'm going to do a post on top of here. I like to do posts in cases of anything on the anterior and premolars because I never know what exactly is going to happen to this tooth. It's a great way to help prevent snap off um, fractures. Um, and and of course it's going to take forever so i'm going to use my head strum and uh, just add a little music here because this is <laughs> it took about two three minutes so i cut out a lot of the head strum kind of banging as we're getting in there but um problem here is the access hole was really tiny and so the gutta perch just doesn't want to come out. I'm also going to use slightly larger posts as well. I normally use those 5004 or even the 4004s, but in this case, I'm going to be kind of making it a little bit bigger. I sped up a lot of the restorative aspect because you've seen this before. If you want to know more about it, you can watch my other videos or obviously drop a comment if there's anything you want to have me explain in detail. But using the same process of disclose, go ahead and blast it away. Total edge technique with 40% phosphoric acid. Come in with a clear fill primer and bond, and then fill it up. Now, I am still going to use a blue Centrix tube here. You can sometimes with larger cases get away with the brown, uh, but I did ex uh, extend this part out where I'm doing the post. Couple things about doing the post. Number one, you'll see I actually removed the red stripe on number nine. That's because you can you don't really want to have a red spot when you're you know, sealing this up, and so you can just take a burr and quick buzz that off if you're worried about it getting close to it. The other thing that I've learned is you need to go back in with the centric tubes after you place it. You saw me do that there, and then also go back in with the glick. If you don't do this, there's a really high chance you're going to get a void at the occlusal aspect or you know the lingual aspect here and that is very annoying to have to go back and fix you can just take the barrel bar smooth that all off and get a nice shape go ahead and check the bite and that's pretty much it so uh, i wanted to show this case because it's a little bit intriguing as far as the calcium hydroxide you can see kind of what that case looks like very pleased with the final anyway um this is there's no more psych outs <laughs> don't worry but uh, if you have any questions go ahead and drop them below as always thank you guys so much for watching